find the slope of the line pictured on the graph. So the slope of a line is defined to be rise over run. Or you could also view it as change in y, change in y over change in x. Over change in x. And let me show you what that means. Change in x. So let's start at some arbitrary point on this line. And they kind of they highlight some of these points. So let's start at one of these points right over here. So if we wanted to start at one of these points, and let's say we want to change our x in the positive direction. So we want to go to the right. So let's say we want to go from this point to this point over here. How much do we have to move in x? So if we want to move an x, we have to go from this point to this point. We're going from negative 3 to 0. So we're going from negative 3 to 0. So our change in x and this triangle, that's delta, that means change in. Our change in x is equal to 3. So our change in x over here is equal to 3. So what was our change in y when our change in x is equal to 3? Well, over that same. When we moved from this point to this point, our x value changed by 3. But what happened to our y value? Well, our y value went down. It went from positive 3 to positive 2. Our y value went down by 1. So our change in y is equal to negative 1. So we rose negative 1. We actually went down. So our rise is negative 1 when our run, when our change in x is 3. So change in y over change in x is negative 1 over 3. Or we could say that our slope, we could say that our slope is negative one third. Let me scroll over a little bit. It is negative one third. And I want to show you that we can do this but any two points on the line. We could even go further than three in the x direction. So let's let's go the other way. Let's start at this point right over here and then move backwards to this point over here, just to so say that we'll still get the same result. So to go from this point to that point, what is our change in x? So our change in x is this right over here. Our change in x is that distance right over there. We started at 3 and we went to negative 3. We went back 6. Over here, our change in x is equal to negative 6. We're starting at this point now. So over here, our change in x is negative 6. And then when our change in x is negative 6, when we start at this point and we move 6 back, what is our change of y to get to that point? Well, our y value went from 1. That was our y value at this point. And then when we go back to this point, our y value is 3. So now our y value is 3. So what did we do? We moved up by 2. Our change in y is equal to 2. So over here, our change in y is equal to 2. Slope is change in y over change in x, or rise over run. Change in y is just rise. Change in x is just run, how much you're moving in the horizontal direction. So change in so rise over run in this example right over here is going to be is going to be two over negative six, which is the same thing as negative one third. And you could verify it for yourself. Take any of these two points, start at one of these two points, and figure out what is what is the run to get to the next point, and then what is the rise to get to the next point. And for any line, the slope won't change. Let me do it again. Over here we had to move in the positive three direction, so that is our run. So this right here is positive 3. That's our run. But what's our rise? Well, we actually went down, so we have a negative rise. Our rise is negative 1. So we have negative 1 as our rise. We went down. And our run was positive 3. So our slope here is negative 1 third.